unconstitutional unfreedom if this is not a democratic emergency for our country i don't know where we should get before we will say we are going down a very slippery slope kashmir shrinks in my mailbox my home a neat 4 by 6 inches i always loved neatness now i hold the half inch himalayas in my hand this is home and this the closest i'll ever be to home now the press council of india chairman approaches the supreme court saying that he agrees with yeah. the center's decision to restrict press freedom journalist circles across the country are now protesting asking how could he say even say something like that yeah. what do you have to tell him the whole job of the press council of india is to make sure that the press can do what it's supposed to do and if the chairman of the, is going to say no 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 we don't want to do our job because we believe restriction should be there on us he should not be where he is that it's your job to make sure as a government that there is no terror it's your job as a government to make sure the people are safe by not locking them up by doing your job the last month you've never shied away from expressing your opinions about the kashmir issue and so do you believe that the media clamp down on media and restricting press freedom in the name of the nation's integrity and sovereignty is justified i think it's done with uh, with the specific intention of making sure that the voices of the people in kashmir is not heard by the rest of the people in india it is done also so that the voices of the people of the rest of india does not reach the people of kashmir you have a section of the media which is operating as a mouthpiece for the government that is the most dangerous position that a democracy can get into so how do you assess the coverage especially by tv channels they have become numb to decency of discourse making sure there's enough noise and shouting and screaming that it seems like a masala film when that becomes the primary goal of television or even newspaper anything then you know that truth is very far away from that as citizenry we have actually degenerated to a point where we're not able to empathize with struggles of people and added upon this we have television channels telling us not to empathize telling us to be more angry telling us to shout more so the whole atmosphere is toxic have you received a uh, backlash from people for your opinions my goodness how much anger is out there i'm upper caste i'm an upper class i have all the boxes to tick to handle what is thrown at me so i'm not going to complain that it's difficult but is is the space shrinking definitely so fair kashmiri opens his or her mouth just look at the language that is being used when i return the color won't be so brilliant the jhelum's water is so clean so ultramarine my love so overexposed and my memory will be a little out of focus in it a giant negative black and white still undeveloped one thing that you'd like to tell the government about the way they dealt with the abrogation of article 370 well bluntly put they had no business doing it the way they did it what they want should have been decided by the legislature there if the supreme court does not take a very strong decision on this we are opening the pandora's box for undemocratic action and there is irrespective of which party is in power i think this is a direction that we don't want a democracy to go where you could basically circumvent any procedure circumvent you could send in the army anywhere and just decide and do what you want because you have the might because you have the number because you have the ability to shout everybody down and because you have um enough people in social media who will just put out your propaganda much out much before anybody else and therefore make that the truth